Well, here we are again, boys and girls, another day, another battery. So let's have a look at this battery pack right here. This is the, uh, this is the Tesla Model 3 battery pack. Um, and I wanted you to get a look at this because what we're going to be talking about today is uh, battery packs in general. And I want to show you that this battery pack is very similar to the uh, Model Y battery pack. You can see right here that uh, there's three of the uh, three of the battery packs are here, um, or three of the batteries are here, but there's one missing, and that one's it's going out for discharge, and we're going to have some fun with it. We're going to take and uh, do basically what we've done over here, and that is take a few of these uh, cells out to make sure that they're they're the same as what uh, what Tesla uh, used before. So there's been a lot of questions about how does this thing work and whatnot. So I'm going to try and uh, talk you through a little bit of this. But in essence, what you've got is a whole bunch of these little teeny tiny cells. There's 4,416 of those little buggers in each one of these uh, bars. This is called a brick. And this brick goes over the top of, uh, over the top of these cells. And inside, if you look real close here, you'll see little tiny wire, uh, aluminum wires that are um, wire bonded to the backside of the um, collector here. So this collector is going to, um, is going to connect uh, 46 cells. And when it is connected, uh, when they're all connected like that, Tesla calls that a brick. Then the bricks, that gives you parallel. Then for serial, these are put in place over the top. So you can see that we've stripped some of them out and then you see these other ones that are going in a different direction. And they're the, uh, they're the collectors that give you all of the uh, connection to the battery. So let's step over here and let's have a look at what cools this thing. So first off, these things are all glued together. They are not easy to get out. There's a... Uh, <laughs> There's a, a myriad of things you have to do in order to make it happen. And we're going to make a, a video of me chopping one of these things out on the, uh, on the new Model Y battery. Um, one thing I forgot to say is that there's 96 bricks in a battery. So the whole battery will have 96 of these things. And that's what connects the uh, 4,416 battery uh, cells together. So the other thing is what's the chemistry associated with this? Well, we've got the chemistry for everything, but most people are really interested in the Tesla. And the Tesla is um, nickel, cobalt, aluminum. Of course, the main ingredient is still lithium ion, but that part is the main product, but the rest of it is the nickel, uh, the cobalt, and the aluminum. So we've talked a little bit about how these things are cylindrical, but they're not the first and not the only ones. These are the earliest types of batteries that we originally started seeing. Um, actually I think in the uh, early 2000s and uh, these are out of a Ford product. Ford has since gone to a different, uh, different method. So now that we've talked a little bit about the Tesla, let's talk a little bit about their competitors. So this is, a, um, this is called a prismatic battery. So what you have here is a bunch of these different um, packs that are made and stuck inside this this uh, tray and then welded shut. So at the end, they look a lot like that. These, um, this, this system um, is kind of good, but the problem with it is, is that it's got to have a case around it to keep it together. So Tesla is all glued together with uh, conductive glues and with the um, cooling system. It's kind of shaped like a, like a piece of lasagna, all glued together so that they can dissipate heat. These guys at BMW, they've used something a little bit different. So the original was, this is a uh, electric heater basically for when the battery is cold. And then this with the micro channels, similar to what, um, similar to what Tesla did, these micro channels had um, coolant as in uh, refrigerant, like in your refrigerator or, um, or better yet in your car. So these two things sat on top of each other like that. And then the battery pack sat on top of that. Um, this is an older style. Many people have gone and taken this a few steps further. So, uh, this is Samsung's uh, idea. So 
These guys here, this is LG, and this is what's in the Chevy Bolt. So the Chevy Bolt uses something a little bit different. These are called pouch cells. The pouch basically fits inside of here, and you'll see that there's a little trailing edge on these. And what they are is they're bent in a serpentine so that each, each pouch is connected to the pouch next to it. So when you look at it, um, when you get all done looking at this, you find out that this is the most expensive way to do the individual cells. This comes in second as being a, a little bit less expensive. But these, these are cheap. Uh, you can make a jelly roll battery by the thousands uh, in a very short period of time. These one takes a lot longer. This one takes longer to build up the, uh, the pack itself, but it's the most efficient as far as space and weight is concerned. You get better density here. Another thing that's nice about it is I told you that these uh, connector plates here, these collector plates, I should say, uh, that, that comprise the brick. What happens if one or two of these little connections don't connect anymore? Well, each one of these little 2170 batteries is three and a half volts. And at three and a half volts, if you lose one or two, it's no big wow. The, um, the component uh, that sits underneath those white and uh, orange uh, covers there, um, that's, that's for battery management. And that'll balance the batteries for the little bit of uh, differences that there'd be if one of these cells decided to die or if, um, or if one of these little wires somehow got broken. Uh, when we uh, did the balance on this thing, um, the, uh, the difference was minuscule. It's the smallest, uh, smallest differential we've ever seen. We're expecting to see the same thing when we do the testing on, uh, on these batteries over here. And then the last one, like I said, is the Chevy Bolt. Um, this is LG. The LG chemistry has changed quite a bit, and lots of people are using LG batteries now. Um, uh, that's that's kind of like the favored uh, the favored uh, group um, uh, that uh, that's in the marketplace right now. So that's Panasonic's design, but LG and Samsung also make cylindrical, and uh, this one is the BMW uh, idea, whatever, but, but Panasonic also makes uh, both Prismatic and Pouch as well. So the three big companies are all working together or working against each other, but they're all trying to, uh, they're all trying to come up with new chemistry and new ways of putting their products out so that they can get their costs down. So last, um, somebody was asking about um, what do these things look like? So this is a 2170 cell. And uh, uh, as you can see, it's corroding. And that's just because it's in the open atmosphere. It'll never do that when it's inside of that plastic brick you've seen over there. That's why we have this stuff here, um, these uh, mineral oil. By the way, I just found out that this is a lubricant and a laxative. How about that? Helps relieve occasional constipation, tasteless, odorless, colorless, blah, blah. So you can either keep your batteries from catching on fire or or you can drink it if you uh, have a problem. So now, let's see what we can do about maybe selling some stuff. Um, first off, this is the high top table, and I know that Mother's Day is coming up, so all you mothers out there, I'm sure they would love to have one of these tables. But I know that the ultimate gift might be one of these batteries, okay? And uh, two of them are gonna be for sale. Probably those two. These are for uh, not everybody. These will be sold to uh, these will be sold to OEMs or Tier One suppliers, uh, and they're fairly expensive. So I'm sure that uh, I'm sure that you could buy one of these things for your favorite mother, but uh, but in uh, in this case uh, I'm going to probably reserve that for the OEMs or uh, or big tier companies. Anyway, boys and girls, have yourself a great day. Remember to tip those cashiers and uh, let's, uh, let's all be safe out there. Thanks and bye-bye.